guys, me Steve. Um, funny old uh, fishing magnet fishing um, nature channel. Today I'm back at Kingston. Now I'm going to try over here in the uh, pub side of things. So I think that I might get a little bit of um, chance to get some stuff over here. Just trying to find where I can go. Probably try here for a while. I'm definitely going to go back over there later. And try over there. Just from there. I'm going to try here for a while. A little bit dry for you today. Look, he's I'm actually going to try down this little bit of swell before we get anything. Probably three people sleeping in their boat still. Got me a little magnet as well today. I'm going to try down this little bit for starters, see if there's any coins or anything down here. And then we'll do a couple of little swings out here. Got a load of swans in the way. So that's what I'm going to do down the side here first. Thank you. 
simply cross coin. I'll put my camera in my pocket. Well, there's one coin, could be more. So yeah. Okay. Small hammer. Decent find of the day. Oh, this bit.
MP and a hammer so far. We'll go over the other side again later, see if I can find some more coins and bullets. Okay, uh, kind of a, don't know what it is. Looks like a very old screwdriver that's fucked. I matched onto something then. And there's nothing there. Right, something there. Supposed to be a branch.
Oh, what's this? Dunno. I've got a penny. Nice penny. Green one as well. Cap and a screw. <laughs> Every time I want to go over there, someone's there fishing. Something down here. Yeah. Definitely something down here. Yeah. If I could feel it.
something here. Yeah. Just run it along. Mm -hmm. What was that? That just burns part of the. Down there, but I'm making it want to pick it up. I'll just go out to the other side. Get me hammer. Take me hammer. up across the bridge and then over to that sign could do there but there's a chain now that's going to be fucking me up all the time What's the name? Sometime. 
of the end. It's dark time. Like crossing this bridge. Well, I'm going to start the video for a little while. Let's get back to the layer. Alright, guys, I managed to just get around here. That guy's pressing up. So we can't really say anything. I've uh, pulled out a couple of scrap bits and uh, a spoon and a jig. Spoon, a spoon and a jig I found. Got my camera out. Brought the camera with me today. I pulled out these scrap metal bits of pipe. I'm just thrown out. I've seen something down here. What it is I don't know yet. And a few things. Oh, oh. Oh, whoa, cool. Nice. Now, could that be a murder weapon? Huh, I don't know. Let's get the camera out, take a picture. I always want to find something like that, but bigger and not as rusty. Take one picture of any think decent. Something down there. I think that's another spoon or something down there. Missed it. Another spoon. I think there's something down there as well, which happens. I did find a little pair of half a scissors, and now I found another half. Trousers are getting wet again. Cut the box up so I can see. No. So many ball chops.
a little bit further that now, moving away from that boat because I know people live there. And we're heading up that way towards that little pier onto the place where I found that gun, Erlen Bullets. <laughs> Another lighter. I'm always finding lighters. Won't work now, but maybe later it might do. Not found any coins yet, apart from a penny and ten p over there, or eleven p across the river. Well, I did miss something there then, I think. Just in front. I think I just saw a jig. Or a float. float down there. I think. Maybe not. I just picked up another piece of iron. Catch much? A lot of magnet fishing. <coughs> Got a hammer over there. A hammer. And just now, two minutes ago, picked that up. So I do do normal fishing, but I've picked this up for, and I've been doing this for about five yeah, weeks. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, people get like, I pulled out a safe over at uh, Tootin Beck the other day, well, about a week ago, but it was already busted open, all that was in there was a couple of keys yeah. and a little bit of loose change. Yeah. But I pulled out a Dillinger, a little Dillinger gun over at uh, the River Wandle, and also 14 iron musket balls. Well, the River Wandle's been paying off, cash-wise, probably about eight pound in loose change, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. <laughs> uh, I come down here, and not the wooden pier, but you've yeah. got an, a, like a, a concrete pier, a bit further up. Mm. Pulled out 14 22 bullets out there the other day. So that's why I'll come back to see if I can find the gun. Yeah. <laughs> never know. Yeah, you never know yeah, might be a gun in there. You know, the tidal wave is that acting right. Could be pushing it in bit by bit. I just pulled out these iron bars as well. So it's helping you guys out, you know, yeah, and yeah, stop snagging. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did pull out um, a little jig as well. Well, I call them jigs. Two sp little spoons I've just pulled out. Yeah. I don't use, use, use them, I usually give them to me, mate. Yeah, uh, yeah it's a little hobby. Yeah. Something to do, you know, instead of like normal fishing. At least you're pulling out something, you know, you never know what you're going to pull out. You might pull a tin box out full of gold fucking silver and coins, you know, gold and silver and jewellery. Yeah, you too. Cheers. So I'm going to go up to at least where that boat is and I'll move on to my wooden pier and then the uh, what's the name pier? 
don't really like stacks, staying on these steps. There's a rope there. this not another tent peg yeah another tent peg pulled one of those out last week well not last week yeah last week last time I was here definitely some kind of rope down there Oh, what's that? Not picking it up properly. Oh, shit, I didn't want to get my hands soaking wet. Another penny though. Got something on there. What's this? Another fucking. Oh, a razor blade. That can go back in there. Don't the razor blade. I'd rather it be in the water than on main with dogs. I don't know if any of you other guys who do magnet fishing find that this can be a bit of a back aching hobby sometimes. I'll tell you one thing, it's making my back hurt time to time. Okay, a bit of tweed just broke off. I scared the shit out of me a little bit. Treading on the rope. Hook. Not taking it. Well, now pull it in. It looks naked anyway.
sounds kind of wire. Seeing that nice made my trip a little bit worth it. I always want to find a knife like that. A bit small. I'd like to have found a bigger one. At least it's one I've wanted to find for a while. A penny. Fucking trees in the way. when I'll get out of it. It's a stone. this over a little bit I don't want to take anything heavy on today if I can help it depends on what it is if it's a fucking safe locked up then I'll take it little box tin money box or something I wonder what I might find over at the pier today, if anything. I think there's two bars down there, two poles or something. I'm not sure. Right, the guy fisherman left that fucking thing there. Didn't wake you, did I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very old pair of nail cutters. Did I wake you? Oh. Just metal um, magnet fishing, pulling that scrap iron. Yeah. Yeah. Just clear some poles out, iron bars. Just oh yeah. A load of bottle caps in here as well. Uh, what I can't, I can't stand is that people fucking throw the shit in the lake or river. And there's a bin over there. But I've had in two little find, good finds uh, across the river. I've just done that a little bit along there. Yeah. And found a hammer. Look at that. I found a. I bet someone cursed when they dropped that. A peg. Uh, cutlery, two spoons, and a fork. I'm always finding fucking. Oh, two, two spoons and two forks. I'm always finding cutlery. Anywhere yeah. I'll go. And That's surprising they're, they're not rusty. I suppose it's stainless, but yeah, it's still got iron still. in it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And I just found that five minutes ago, just oh, over okay. there. Cool. I wonder what that's been responsible for. 
Don't know. No, no. That's a wonder, doesn't it? And when I found this, uh, a lighter and a little jig. Yeah. You just take most, of, you know, like anything I fancy, take home and the rest I'll just dump. Yeah. Or I'll leave it in the pile for the dustman, yeah. the trash man to come. So when I get up, is that your boat there? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll get up towards your boat, then I'm going to go up further uh, to the wooden pier. Yeah. Do that for an hour. Then there's like a concrete pier. Yeah, I was here a couple of days ago and I pulled out 14 2 2 bullets. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, it's obviously someone's. Uh, yeah, don't want to be caught with them, do they? Yeah, you know, I was hoping I could find the gun though. Yeah. <laughs> you know, ring the police up and say, I found a gun. Like, you know, be in the papers or something, you know, but. Yeah. I, I was over at um, Tooting Beck Common. Uh, I've got no idea. I was over at Tooting Common a couple of weeks ago and I pulled out a safe which was already busted open. Really? Yeah, just a couple of keys and several yeah. pence. Um, pulled out a little dinager and, and gun. Did you really? Yeah, over at uh, the River Wandle near Malden Park. It, it, Bell, Bell was missing but yeah. and rusted up, but you can tell it's a gun. Uh, I've been doing about five, six weeks now. Yeah, it's not too bad, gets you out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not surprised you can't find stuff. Yeah, it's so much. We've got sea search department, similar thing to that. And, um, you know, you you can uh, you look for the bit that you've dropped in, you know, and you might find it, but you always bring up something else first. Yeah, <laughs> it's always guaranteed. But this pull, this is meant to pull up to 140k. Uh, I used to use my 60k ones. I usually know I've, I've pulled out so many of these. Yeah. First, first day I went over to Clapham Common where I got permission to do over there. The first day I pulled out 50. Did you really? Yeah. Then the second time I went, I pulled out another 40, 50. Yeah. I just lost count. You find them everywhere because like youngsters use them, don't they? Oh, do Snort they? them, get high. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. That. Yeah, that's what I use it for. Nothing surprises me, does it? <laughs> yeah. That's what bothers me, that's what I'm saying, Luke. That's bloody diesel all over the floor. Yeah, that's Everybody. what I was looking at. Yeah. I was going to have a wander up there, actually, because it's one of the bigger barges up there. Is it coming down that way, or...? No, it's coming down. Well, no. The wind's moving it back when the wind yeah. moves, but it's essentially it's coming down. Could be. <laughs> yeah, cheers. Oh, I actually thought I'd wake him up. Seems like an okay. I won't get to his boat and then fucking go to that wooden pier and that other pier where I pulled those bullets out last time. I'm not sure if I end up over the, um, the park and walking three and a half miles again like last time. I never reached it. get a bus up there if I'd go up there. I would like to pour a fucking tin out with coins in. That would make my day. Buy a bit of magnets and stuff. Thank 
close that up. Let me drink it, have a drink. Pulling much out of here now. Don't know why. I thought I'd have pulled a bit more of it, but in this part, you know, where the fishing guys fish. Getting it over there and dragging it a little bit. So many coins. Right, I'll turn this off again for the wild guys and I'll get back to you if I find if anything interesting. Right guys, I'm back here at the concrete pier uh, where I found those bullets last time. I found two more bullets and that's it. I was hoping to get to the other pier, the wooden pier, but someone docked there just as I got there and he was uh, going into the uh, boat thing to get another boat out. I think he's already gone there so I can go there in a little while. Backtrack on myself. Um, I might even go to Ted Teddington Lock later. See what I can pull out from there. But I'm not sure how to get there yet. Okay, I've got something on here. I'm not sure what the time is yet either, so I'm going to check what the time is. Ten past, quarter past ten nearly. So I probably might nip over to uh, Teddington Lock in a little while. Probably go and do the wooden pier for half an hour, hour, and then go to Teddington Lock after if I can find a way of getting there. I'm not really getting anything here apart from scrap metal nails and shit Hang on. Pair of, oh no, little pair of nose no tweezers put that out. oh right I've got them working it's a nice little find we have that there so I'm throwing out there a little bit I'm trying to get it out a bit further than normal. I 
I've actually uh, found a saw over there as well, which I ain't taking home. I've got a saw. Trying to get it out of that little bit as well. Don't know what could be over there. I can change the soaking wet again. Didn't put me um, waterproofs on because it makes my legs sweat. Next time I'm going to put my waterproofs on, then my jeans, and when I get to location, take my jeans off. So I've just got my waterproofs on. Bar. Still found no gun. <laughs> Wish I had. Wish I found a gun which took them bullets. That would be fucking cool. Sleep is coming undone. So today I've been finding tools and everything else, saw, hair pliers, um, hammer. What next? Screwdriver. I found three, I think three spoons and three forks. Or four spoons and two forks. One of the either. Found about four or five p here and change. Look at this fishing line, man. Holy crap. I think I'll definitely try to get to Teddington Lock today. Spend a few hours there. So I'm not going to go further up river. Just ain't worth it. Oh, about four batteries here. All right. Yeah, getting some of the junk out. Only had to cut the fines. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about going up to Tenton Lock later. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that last week. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I was there last week. Um, Blackfires pulled out about only like the heads, but about 14 clay pipes. I did find one with a, a long stem on it, just like the little tip was missing. But they're all plain ones, you know. It's amazing watching Christmas time out there how much still gets that cut. Oh yeah. Well, we th we thought well it weren't me. I was walking up along the shore, and I saw this guy pulling something out. I ain't found anything interesting, mate, because I don't know, I don't know what it is. And when he did pull it out, it looked like a fucking bomb. And I said, it's, that ain't a bomb, is it? He goes, fuck it out, no. <laughs> I said, it looks like a bomb, mate. I said, what are you going to do with it? He goes, well, I ain't fucking taking it. And I said, well, look, look, let's have a look. And I'm fucking holding it, you know, in my hand. I said, I don't think it is a bomb, because it's too light, you know. Bombs are made out of iron, and that would have been heavier, but, you know, it, it could be steel or, you know, something else. It could be a part of a bomb. Yeah. Yeah. No, I actually kind of dropped it on a, a rock. I went, oops. I said, uh, well, I just dropped it on the rock. It didn't explode. So <laughs> it ain't a bomb, I don't think. I know they still pull out um, coins and that. Oh yeah, I'm pulling. I know that Yeah, I'm pulling coins out all the time, ones, twos, fives and tens. Last week I pulled out... Last week I thought, pulled out 14 of these, but I've just pulled out two today. And what's that off that stand? That's a bullet. It looks like a bullet, doesn't it? It is a bullet. I think it's a 2.2 or 2.2. Can't tell. Everyone's saying, oh, you should hand them into the police. No. Well, my mate, my mate does... Um, he, I've given him his gear, he's so knowledgeable, he, he buys and sells military. Yeah. And, um, I mean, obviously, all that's all knowledge, you know, he's got the knowledge. But I've known him since when we was at school together, but he was always interested. But, I mean, he can just look at a thing now. Mm. I, I, I do take my house. He's doing that big thing next week. Um, they do, it's called War on Peace. Oh, right. And that's when Not they all meet up and do a sort of week sale. But, I mean, he, he pulls... You know, he gets off and all. It amazes me actually how many people offer him guns. Because mm. people will say, oh, what will I get for that? He goes, has it been decommissioned? And they will say, uh, no, it's not. And they go, well, what, what can I get for that? He goes, about five years. <laughs> <laughs> I just pulled this out, fucking saw. And I don't know what that is. Might be a part of a rowing or hook, uh, one of those yeah. like hook things. Yeah, it's off a boat. Yeah, it's yeah. I just pulled that out, I ain't taking that home. I'll leave that there. It's probably amazing what it actually is in there, actually. Yeah. Oh, I'll show you what I did pull out a little oh, while ago. <laughs> oh, I pulled one of those out uh, with, a, with a wandle. Oh, yeah. My mate goes back to down the wandle. He's at, he's at Hackbury. Yeah, that's where I, I, pull, I pulled out uh, 14 iron musket balls from there. All oh, right. The best find I found today is this. And I've got like a hammer, spoons, two lighters, and that's it really. Yeah. And a tent peg. But I was going to do that wooden pier just down there, but a, a guy just pulled in on the boat. He was going into the boating thing. So now he's gone. I'm going to go back down to that bit, do that for an hour. Then I'm going to go probably down tent and lock. So I was watching a, a guy who I watch on YouTube quite a lot. He went over there the other day and he's pulled some crap out. So at least that we know that there's stuff there. So uh, yeah, I've got I've got some of the cheap colour paints that they do more of the um, detectors. Yeah. Right. Metal detectors, yeah. They 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 um their their story of fame or not fame. They went to a place and they were sitting there and you know, and a guy found that worth something like three hundred thousand. Yeah. They were, they were literally only about 100 yards, and of course they got themselves lucky. <laughs> so that's the luck of it. Well, a guy who um, I watched a little while ago called Akachiko, he's from America, he came over to do some metal detecting with this uh, English guy. And an English guy pulled out a fucking gold coin on the old Thames, worth about £35,000. Yeah. We were we we revamped Thomas Joyner, so we was we did the place up opposite. So it's a a, um, a dock, you know. Yeah. One of those docks. 
My mate's got spring in the river. I wish we'd hold that stop. I'll give my mate a shift. This is mum who did it when he was 18. He's got a bit of pipe. And he was looking through the pipe from a bit of glass. Oh my god, yes. And he found it. But it wasn't there. But you know how the water moves and the stuff tilts over stuff. Just saw the corner of it, and then he made a hook, and we, he hooked it up. But I, I, he was so lucky. Lucky, yeah. Because you can literally drop so it, can't you? And it will. It'll be gone it. within minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And, the, and you just get that. You've only got a boat in if it's moving. Well, I'm surprised that, that I found two of them bullets again today. I thought, well, I found 14 last Friday, I think it was, when I was here. And I thought, I'll go and see if I can find any more. It's quite interesting to know where they were. And from. they are, they are when still here. Yeah. <laughs> But, I um, think it's just a 2-2, two, 2-2 two, 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 two air gun. Yeah, so what was that big? Because they've got the, that's the Territorials over there. Is it? It's the, uh, which building is it? Yeah, it's that building, isn't it? Territorial Army. Yeah, hmm. that's the army place, almost dead opposite. Maybe they had some kind of f thing going on and using weapons and like training or something. Well, we've got them there and obviously we've got the sea cadets down there. Is there any kind of like canals or locks around here, um, local, apart from Teddington? The, that way, yeah. you, you've got, um, if you've been there for a dog forever, that's got, that piece goes back to when there wasn't a lock and they used to go there and they used to carry the stuff, you know, the boats used to go there, they used to carry it up by hand and they put it in, and that's Mulgy Lock. Mulgy Lock, yeah. That is about, from here, walking is... So I walked all the way up to like... Two mile up here, and I didn't see anything. I was yeah. trying to get to the park. If you get up there, you'll get to Hampton. Yeah, I'll try to find it. I couldn't fucking find it. But I must have walked about three miles, still never found it. If you want to go the quick, the quicker route to Hampton Court, it's all right. You've got to walk to the end of here. Yeah. Go over the road, and then you'll you'll go in the gate because you'll go over the road. See, this is Home Park, but then you've got the road that runs from here to Hampton Court. Yeah. And then you and then you go if you go in go in past the allotment you'll go down a, a lane uh, which is there's a big church there you'll go down the lane and then you'll follow the fence along but the difference is if you look on the map that is the, a dead straight bit of path whereas this the river goes right around because what you've done you've gone right round on the barred walk they call it yeah so this is nearly double it's probably two times or three times the yeah. distance so that's the quickest way so i've seen like jumping on a bus here there's a bus that goes directly there's there. a bus you get a bus, if you go out the end of here, yeah. you'll get a bus straight to Hampton Court. Mm, yeah. Yeah, you can go that route. So that I know they've got a pond uh, lake in there, but I don't know if I'll be able to do that in the lake. I shall well, problem. In, in Home Park? In Hampton Park. Ha Hampton, you've got, cut, you've got a big pond. Oh, well, you probably could. You've got, the, you've got a couple of ponds, you've got the streams in there. Mm. And then, of course, and then when you get to Hampton Court, you've got the bridge, and then Mulgy Lock is diagonally across. Yeah. So. So, that's, you know, so I want to do the bit like a canal where they used to pull the horses down because then I'm, I'm trying to find yeah. a fucking horseshoe. That's one thing I want to find is a horseshoe. Because this, this is, the, you know, this is where they used to pull them along. Because if you, you've got this path, yeah. the bottom path is the actual old path. Because they've actually got some works at the moment. And they've actually dug up a little bit of what the original path, you know. Yeah. You see the, the old original sort of stone, stone sets. Yeah, so that's more like, you know, probably about four mile up there. It? It's about, I would say the whole distance up there is probably about three and a half miles. Yeah, too much fucking walk for my legs. But <laughs> yeah, if you're right though, go there, there is a bus that goes. Hampton Court and just come across the, co the yeah, park I suppose. Yeah, so you go out the top here and turn left, th those buses, you might actually, I think the bus might pick up on just the, the other side. Yeah. But there definitely is a bus that goes goes along the, along to the Hampton, because it'll be just marked up Hampton Court Station or Mulsey. Yeah. And that'll definitely get you along there. Mm. I might leave that until next time I come around a couple of weeks time because I want to go to Tenton Lock. Yeah, Tenton Lock obviously is yeah. a bit nearer. But I don't know what how to get there, you know, from here to Tenton. Tenton Lock. Yeah. Because Tenton Lock down it's about the same distance again that way. Yeah. You have to go over the bridge now, because when you get here, that's the end of really this side. So you go over the bridge, you'll go down the footpath in that corner. And then that takes you all the way along. Then there's footpaths and stuff that takes you all the way along to, uh, well, it'll take you all the way to um, uh, up to Richmond. Yeah. But Teddington's, Teddington's about, it's 
Yeah, hey, mate, I've got some scrap metal here for you. <laughs> There's some scrap metal here. What is that saw? Oh, hang on a minute, I'll see if I can get that saw out. Oh, shit. Uh, I've, been, oh. I've been doing a bit of uh, <laughs> um, magnet fishing. And I'm pulling this metal shit out. I would like to do the bloody park, but I don't think I can do metal uh, magnet fishing in there. Down at the bottom, um, there's some stuff near the last boat. <laughs> some metal poles and that, that I pulled out. Some guy out there down on these boats must have had a party last night because he's got shit loads of stuff out outside of it. Down down here. Outside one of the guys' boats. Crap loads of stuff outside. Yeah. Not mine, but it ain't mine. Yeah. Of course, what they do is a lot of them they go club over there at night. They come over, they've been on the pier, don't they? Yeah. Alright. Come on, boys, yeah. So, yeah, you're sort of, you're in, you're in the middle. So, because I, I saw a guy go down there on his YouTube channel, um, yeah. him and his son, and it was at the uh, the locks under one of the bridge. And that's where the barges go under because it's only like so from that fence to about here I suppose probably like less than that and he's pulling stuff out with his magnet I thought oh I'll have to send him a message asking where he was yeah, and he said oh tent, tent and look what going that way going that way I believe you can walk over a foot I haven't done it but I believe you go over a foot bridge at Teddy's and brings you over onto the actual lock itself yeah. and, and you can wheel your way around I haven't done it, but that wouldn't be very far on the bus. That would only because on the bus it would only be like three stops, or something, yeah. And then you'd be back off again. Well, it was only three stops, I could probably walk it, but yeah. I walked up that way and, and I, couldn't, walking, I could walk. not find Hampton Court that way. I must have walked about three miles. Maybe I just got to the edge of it and, you probably were. and thought, fuck it, I can't go. The brick walls, the big on the right hand side, was there a big brick wall? Was you still looking at this sort of fencing? Uh, no, it's like towards the end of the fencing, there's like a big house on the yeah, corner and I was doing some kind of like construction yeah, yeah, and there's like a, an iron girdle fence where yeah. the was line. gone much further you would have seen the metallic. <laughs> you actually, yeah, I'm full guy to tell you, you actually were you weren't that far away then, you was about half a mile. Go then next time, fucking this time I'll jump on the bus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't play. Go on then boys. Oi right, mate. Don't uh, Cheers. <laughs> I'm going to do this for about another 10 minutes and I'm going to go down to that wooden pier. Yeah, like, you know, um... It's the unknown of what, you, you know, you never quite know what you're going to put up. Kate McCormick and I was talking to this guy and he goes, oh, um, there's a safe over there, it's been there for a while. He goes, maybe you can pull that in. He goes, I don't think there's anything in it. I think it's been, like, pulled apart anyway. So I just threw the magnet in, got it straight away, pulled it in, lifted it up, full of water and gunge. The actual door was inside the safe. I put it near the bin and I kind of, like, thought, let me just check that gunge. And I put my hand in there, and I found three keys and seven pleading coins. And the, one of the keys were like a golden key. So I, I took the keys. I'm always finding keys and padlocks. Always. And that's the f kind of thing I like finding. I don't know why. Every time I go out, I go... Bike frames. Yeah, I found a few bike frames. Pulled out a ch shopping trolley over at uh, Abbey Mills, Collierswood. So that's where I live near there. I live in Mitcham. Yeah, I know. I watched um, I watched the video where they dredged uh, one of the canals, 
and they had like a, a crane thing going down into the water and they pulled out t hundreds of bikes. Yeah. That's why I keep getting bloody bottle tops all the time. Yeah. I just wish that I fucking like. I always wanted to find one of those nice, but a bigger one, you know. Mm. Never know, that could be the murder weapon. So I do, I do paranormal stuff as well, ghost hunting. Okay. And I talk to spirits, ghosts, you know, and that may sound a bit crazy, but they can tell me that's a, a murder weapon or it's just like a fishing, you know, because I talk to spirit guys and stuff. Yeah. Uh, samurai saw you. Yeah. I'm trying to find a way to fucking get in rust off easy. All the coins I find, you know, rusty or some of the pen knives I find, I've probably found about a dozen pen knives and they're all rusty up. I'm trying to get all the rust off and I'm trying to... Have you tried a tray? Have you tried a tray of Coca-Cola? Yeah, Coca-Cola, I've tried and Coke and salt, I've tried uh, vinegar and salt, I've tried oxaly acid, I've tried God knows what else. And... Normally they say, isn't it, it's baking soda? Yeah, I've tried that as well. I've got baking soda, carbonated soda. I've got all of it. I even mixed it and still couldn't get it working. Like what I do is I put it in salt, uh, salt and vinegar yeah. for overnight, and the next day I use one of those stone tumblers yeah. with fine grind, yeah. and I, I I do it that way. Sometimes the coins come out quite good, and sometimes they kind of like overclean the coin and start taking some of the, uh, the yeah. yeah. So it's, like it's quite difficult to. Um, I, I cleaned up one of um, one of my mates' knives. He had one. It was a um, the trenches in the First World War, but it was a, it had so many horses, it was a farrier's uh, knife with all the hooks on it. Yeah. But I cleaned it up so far, but I said the same to him, I, I said, I don't want to take any more off, because I think I'd actually start changing. Oh, that's right. I just realised I've got my bloody camera running still. You, you'd probably <laughs> be on YouTube. Changing, I'd change the, um, the effect of it, wouldn't you, because you're actually yeah. trying to do too much, right? What's the camera for? Yeah, let me view and see what I'm catching so it's not like, you know, fate or anything like that because you get people on there, they say, oh, you probably had that indoors and you pulled it on your magnet and, like, you know, you pulled it in to make it look like you pulled it out. Yeah, it's not bad, it only costs about 20 quid. And buy extra batteries. I forgot I had it on, actually. It's looking because I had it on my bag. Yeah, they do it. So if you swap, you go to YouTube and do a search, Steve's fishing, magnet fishing. Tomorrow, this video will be up and you'll see yourself on the video with your two dogs. <laughs> They'll probably say, who's that guy with them dogs? I want one of those dogs. <laughs> Steve's fishing and magnet fishing. So you'll see yourself on there tomorrow. Alright, see you then. Have a good day. See you, thank you. Right, last throw here. Not a bad guy. Some of them tend to talk bullshit sometimes, but he isn't. He seems to be okay. Not like the guy earlier. Well, I say earlier, a couple of days ago. Seemed a right fucking weirdo, but he seemed okay. Saint damn it, but it's not. Hang on, I've got something on, I think. Yep, got something. A bit of fucking scrap again. Right, definitely the last row. So I'll get it out a bit more further. Oh, that fucking hurt my arm. Right, move this pole out of the way. I'm going to stick that there. 
maybe it might be there next time I come. Not that I want it, it's just that it might be okay for a, like a weight thing. So my bag keeps falling, I'm being pulled around. We need to go for a pee as well. I think I've got something else then. No, I Just another bottle top. Right. So I'm gonna go down to that wooden pier. Probably spend an hour down there. Now. And then. Uh, might try to get up to Tenton Rock by walking. You said it's only about three bus rides, so can't be that far. Do we go on a, a number two, but I don't know where to fucking go. Right. Um. I'll turn this off a little while guys, I'll get back to you later. Well guys, I've just pulled out another one of these knives. And to prove that, I'll get the other one out. There you go. This one's got less of a handle on it. But the blade on that one's better than that one. A cool find too. Lovely. Lovely job. And that's just there on the wooden pier. Just that there a little bit. Glad I did come here. They could have been two dangerous weapons. There's something down here though, that keeps stuck in my magnet. <sighs> Something heavy down here. What's the chance of two, finding two knives like that man? It's crazy. Any more? What's this? <laughs> a nail and a stone and a little 
muscle. That's crazy ass man, finding two knives practically the same. Must be cool to find another one. Looks like a good one actually. That'll probably work later. Right Oops. It's crazy to find a second knife like that. I think definitely every day now. Keep sticking to the magnet and coming off. Let's just pull this in until he goes. Another lighter here as well. Knackered though. Missing a part. That is crazy. Two knives exactly the same. Both with damage on. Could they both be murder weapons? No idea. What's this? Oh, I thought that was a horseshoe. Might be actually. Might be a mini horseshoe. <laughs> Don't think it is, but I'll keep it. Something different. Could be a lot like a little pony horseshoe. Try to keep this rope away from my trousers. Keep getting all my trousers wet. It's definitely something down there. Keeps like clicking on my fucking magnet and coming off. They're actually like little bowie knives. Could be rocks then actually. Give me something else. Give me a gun. Give me a nice big padlock with a key on it. 
They've had a padlock with a key, I don't think, yet. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to go and walk up river towards the tent on the lock, which I'll try to do there for a couple of hours. Crazy though, two nice packs of the same. Could be from the uh, Navy thing over there, Army Cadet thing. Oh, nearly fucking slide. I think it's rocks down here. It's my. Oh, I heard a click then. I think I might have something on. I heard a click. Could be wrong. Huh. Could have been that. That's one with a push bike. Now, another now. <laughs> Don't want to spend too long on here. I'll try to do it quickly. So I'll get, go up river. I can pull this in, we've got another two knives on. Oh, my fucking back's aching again. Those knives should be a little bit more easier to clean up, actually, I hope. Bottle tap. I'm going to turn this off again guys, save the battery and uh, power and I'll let you know if I find anything good again Well guys, another little uh, lighter a Zippo Playboy Playboy lighter, it says Playboy on it Nice little find Let's see if I can clean that up and I've actually just opened the lid and it looks pretty pristine That may work. Can't close the damn lid now. I don't really want to break it if I can help it. There we go. One little zippo lighter. Not saying it's going to work. 
but there is something down here that's giving me a little bit of a, a tug It's like a metal bowl or something down there and I can't get the damn thing. It's annoying me. It's right there. I don't know what it is. But my magnet's not lifting it. Whoa, shit, I nearly went in then. I'm trying to jerk it. But it's just too heavy, I don't know what it is. Where I'm headed now. Right there. I need a bigger magnet. I don't know what it is, but it's heavy. If I know, it could be a fucking cannon on the wall. The bomb wall. The safe or something. A couple more tries of that one, and I'm going to give it up. I don't know where it is now. Give up on that one. Fucking man, and now was on here. That's a Playboy Zippo lighter, guys. Very rare, I think, now. I don't think you're going to see many of those around. Definitely got to try to get that clean up. Two knives, exactly practically the same. That's fucking crazy. Chance of seeing two of those. Nice find a bigger one. <laughs> so you never know what the tide's gonna bring in day in, day out. I'm definitely going to try to get over the tenant and lock in a little while. Just do this pier and then head over there because it's probably gone 11 o'clock. It's 11.20. So I'm going to turn this off again and I'll be back with you if I find anything else. Well, I think it's a day for knives today. Just pulled out this bastard. Right guys, I'm going to finish doing that pier. I'm now going to head over to Teddington Lock. The time is 12, 5 past 12. 
gonna take you about half an hour, maybe three quarters an hour to get there. And then I could get a bus, but I think I've got to pay cash to get there. Um, but I see, I'm gonna go, I've got to cross the road apparently, and I'm gonna check up on the bus and see how many stops it is. Stop, and then if it's more than three stops, then I probably might try and jump on the bus. If it's less than three stops, I'll probably walk it. I think the guy said, um, I spoke to earlier on the bike with the two dogs. I think he said the, the lock was probably, I've got something leaking out of my bag, and it's running down my trousers, back pants. He said, um, it's back three stops. If you go across the road and follow the footpath, you'll get there. Um, otherwise, if you get a bus, then it's like three or four stops. So, um, I'm going to go across the road, see if I can find a bus stop, see how many stops there. If there's only three stops, then I might just consider like walking. If it's more than three stops, then I'll probably might get a bus. But I do smell of, you know, river water. Uh, I have got deodorant with me, I can spray on me, but I don't know, I see how I feel when I cross the road, I suppose. If it's the same distance as I walked the other day, then I could probably walk it, but fuck am I walking it back? I'll probably get a bus back, uh, or a tube or something. I don't know. So it goes. Now I've got to get to the bridge first, which is down there. It's about another three, four minutes walk. Then up the hill, across the road. And I'll let you know how I got there later on when I get there. Okay, catch you later. Right guys, I'm uh, at Teddington Lock now. Uh, just walking up to the river walk. This is just over there. This is where the brothers done their uh, last magnet fishing, I think. So, hello to the brothers. Hello to Finger, Mark, and everyone else who does magnet fishing. Uh, this is a new location for me today. Uh, Tent and Lock, never been here before. So, uh, we're going to see how it goes. See what kind of uh, relics we can find. Now I don't know how far down the brothers were. And I don't know how far I can actually go down the actual um, walkway. So um, yeah, let me see. There's a weir. The anglers that come. I really don't like walking over bridges. Oh, it's beginning to rain now. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go that way actually. Yeah, I think I'll go that way. I can't go that way. I don't know if I can go up there. Yeah, so I'm going to go that way, see where that leads. I know there was near a bridge, but what bridge it was I do not know. I'll, uh, oh, so I could have gone over that way. Well, I'll have to go over that way, see where it goes take a chance. Um, I think I've got to go through here. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm totally confused right now. So it says 10 path that way.
sticks on my head. I'll probably run out of memory card fighter. It's getting in the vein as well now. Typical. <laughs> How do I get over there? That's five up. Got to be a pathway somewhere. I think I might have to go across the, the bridge, guys, which I don't like to do. I can't find no other way of going up there. And it's beginning to rain now. I think I've got my coat. Can't go that way. So, I've got to go this way. Go over that horrible bridge. Uh, I'm not looking forward to going over bridges. I hate going over bridges with deep water. But luckily it's not as long as uh, the River Thames, like you know, the popular River Thames, like Blackfriars. I'll be over that in about two minutes. But I just do not like going over a bridge with a body of deep water be underneath. Oh, she's not nice. <laughs> right, just look ahead, Steve. Don't panic, take a few breaths, don't look at the water, which I'm doing, just hold your breath, take a few deep breaths, in and out, in and out. So I'm trying to find a canal bit, that's the bit I want to find, the canal. <laughs> I'm panicking guys, I just don't like this. Oh actually I think that might be the canal bit there. Um. Oh. <laughs> no, you can't go there. Ollie, beef, 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 beef. Yeah, I think I've got to cross over this bridge as well. Holy shit. Uh. Sorry. I hate walking over bridges with water. I've got to walk back over this way later. Oh my god. Well, I'm, I'm going to go over there, where that uh, lock is. So I don't know where the brother's done the near one, but I will go this way. I didn't know there was near a bridge. There ain't no bridge down there, apart from that one. And I don't think they did that. At least there's a place here I can go to the loo when I need to. <laughs> go for a pee pee. Right, I'm going to close this camera off, guys. And I'll get back to you when I'm sorted. See you soon. Right, well, I've just been over there, asked if I can have permission to do some magnet fishing here, and he said no. Uh, but if I go further on where those cyclists are, that's a London Port Arena or whatever it is. Um, it's okay for me to do it down here, but I can't do it here. Don't know why. 
Uh, I told him what I'm doing. I said any time she got me, I'll fall out. I'll uh, clean up after myself. So he said, no, not really. Uh, can't do it here, but if you go down where the cyclists are, I should be okay down here. But I've got to do it on this side and not on that side. I can only do it this side. So I said, okay, I'll try. If I get kicked off, I'll get kicked off. I'd like to know where the brothers done there one because I asked about the bridge, the canal bridge, and he said, there ain't no canal bridge. Not down this area. So the brothers may have been misleading me. <gasps> I'll have to have a word of him. Because this is Teddington Lock. And there is no little bridge with a canal. Unless it's somewhere else. Further down or something. But I'm not going to be fucking walking miles. If I can't find it within the hour. I'm buggering off. Right. No, it's off. Oh. So, um, anywhere after here, I can do magnet fishing. But I don't know where the brother's done theirs. It's kind of weird. He said Tenton and Lock. I'm at Tenton and Lock. Maybe it's further up. Maybe it's further down. I don't know. The thing is, how the hell am I going to get down there? Because it's no unauthorised access there. Can't walk on there. can't go down there so I'm just going to have to walk a little bit see where it leads there's a forest there it's spooky wooky see all that is like private property across there I can't go down there, it's like slippery. I never get back up. Plus, there's no platform. Oh, fucking great, ain't they? Well, if I find anywhere, guys, I'll let you know. I'm going to turn the video off again and uh, see what happens. So, uh, yeah. Later on. Well guys, I'm still on the same path. Walked about half an hour or so. Um, still ain't found anywhere to do some magnet fishing. Now, I did find one little spot but it's quite high up and I didn't fancy like standing on the edge of that in case I fell because it was like about 15 foot drop. And uh, well, I'm still walking along this pathway at the moment. So I need to take us out to somewhere. What's this little post say? Oh, you can't even see the post. Uh, restricted mooring. So this is a mooring. Can't get down there because it's broken steps and slippery. I'm going to walk 10 more minutes. And I'm turning around. This is a joke. There's a joke. There's nowhere I can even do any magnet fishing there. It's too, either too shallow or too overcrowded like this. There was like a, a broken lake over that way, which I thought about going to try, but I don't really want to do a lake. I want to do a canal. I want to do a canal where you've got the barges going up and down. That's the place I'm trying to fucking find. Where the brothers done there is, I do not know. He said Tenton Lock. I've gone to Tenton Lock. 
can't find it. So maybe it's a different part which I don't know about or anyone knows. Even the locksmith up there well, they doesn't know what it is. So I'm just confused and frustrated. Excuse me, is it the canal blocks around here? Apart from that one up there? Uh, I think there is another one um, quite a bit further down because there's sort of about one between Kew and what, Kew Gardens? Uh, yeah, and Richmond. There's definitely a reference on one sign to about. Um, but, um, How far is that roughly walking wise? Let's see. Um, probably less than an hour. Because I've just walked <laughs> up and well, I've just walked up from Kew Bridge. Yeah. Uh, I've got to Sam House. But, um, but, so, so I think I'm guessing about another yeah, hour. Yeah. I'm only walking leisurely. Yeah. So yeah, there's definitely another one down there, and it's if you're walking uh, a bit faster, it won't take you that long. Right. Because certainly you're not that far from Richmond now. Yeah. Anyway, then you can get some more directions when you go. Yeah. Right. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Cheers. Well, I'm not far from Richmond. I think there's a. Uh, a bit of a place I can go up to Richmond. So I must well head to Richmond instead of going back to Kingston. Um, it's going to be a lot more difficult for me to get home, I think. So I'll probably have to get a bus from Richmond to Kingston, then Kingston to Collegewood, then Collegewood to home. But you know, it is getting a bit, bit deeper here, but. There ain't nothing here. There's no moorings, nothing. Apart from the one I just showed you, and that's like way too slippery. I wasn't gonna do that. So, as I'm not far from Richmond, I suppose, I might as well carry on going straight ahead. And I'll get back to you when I get there, I suppose. If I ever get there, I'll speak to you later. Right, well, I think I'm at Richmond. I'm going to try a little bit of magnet fishing here. Uh, the only thing is that I am fucking far things here. So I might get hooked up on those. I've got to be a bit careful. I don't know how deep it is there either. So we give it a little go here. Don't get anything within 10 minutes. I'm going to give it a break. Head off back to uh, Kingston and do a little bit more there so we we'll see how he goes I suppose the thing is all my cables fucking knotted up now it's wet and slippery on these stairs as well <laughs> what's this this is a uh, fishing bell thing First find <laughs> without even casting a magnet in. So we're going to try here for a little while. We don't get nothing, and then we'll uh, try to get back to Kingston. No way, my walking it though. Far from the airport, actually. A little now. It's really muddy and murky here. I'm 
very slippy as well. I wanted to do it under that near the bridge, but there's too much mud and silt. So speaker thing. Oh, I'm fucking sliding here. If I pull, I'm gonna fucking slide. I've got my jeans wet again. I don't think I can get anything here, guys. I think I'll go back to Kingston. At least I know I was getting stuff there. It's very muddy and salty here. Yeah? And very slippery. Waste of time walking all the way up here. If I don't get night in the first couple of foes, then I don't bother. It's very slippery here, man. Whoa, I'm sliding everywhere. It's too, too dangerous here. Too dangerous. Get up there, put this in my backpack. It's just too slippery down here. And I'm not going no further up to the other one. And I've lost my little padlock. My little padlock. Never mind, I've got one on my key rack somewhere. I've got spares and doors as well. Right, so I'll get bus back to uh, Kingston. Should be able to. Got mud all down my fucking jeans now. I need to get some more drinks. Not far from the airport, because like you can see the big planes up there. to a shop and get some more drinks. I 
bolt. Six out of me, I think. My bolt, I've already drunk four. So I'd like to have done under that bridge, but it's just like too slippery, like the stairs. See what I mean? Too slippery. Right, I'll turn this off again. I'll get back to you later. See you soon. Well, guys, I'm at ha Hampton Court, just over here, it's Hampton Court Palace. This is the bridge, uh, and you see it's very shallow here, very, very shallow. So, what I'm going to do is walk up the river a little bit. It's getting a bit chilly as well. So I'm gonna have to put my hoodie on, although the arms are soaking wet and have not dried out whatsoever. But you can tell by the wind, it is getting a bit windy. Um, I'm gonna try and do possibly an hour, hour and a half. Uh, I think it's probably more deeper on the other side but you've got the boatman there which might complain so I'm going to try and stay on this side for a little bit then go on to the other side later so let's just see what happens I suppose um, I've got the magnet still in my bag just been a bit of a bummer for me today trying to find locations so there's Hampton Court so you can see that just over there I'm not actually going in now I'm staying out I'm going to do magnet fishing not tour it's a boat trip mate Unless I've gone the other side. Let's go down there, fuck it. If I get asked to move, I'll move. I've got to get some fucking magnet fishing done. Ridiculous. Uh, the gate's locked on there. So I'll do it here for a little while. See what we get here. Then I can move along over that direction. Yeah, that looks like a bit of a plan. But it's still fucking shallow. No, I'll just give it a go. See what I pull out. Even anything. I'm going to have to do some research and find a, um, a canal with some locks on. So I really want to try and find one where I can get some horseshoes from, if possible. Not saying it is going to be possible, but it might be. It's definitely metal in here because I can see some nails down here. So let's see, there it goes here.
I'll leave it careful with the rope, I don't want too much out. Got my bag going everywhere. So there's a nail down there, so that should pick up that nail. There we go. In some junk, but not the junk I want. Let's go over here. So sometimes you might get coins going to these little pockets. What's that? Is that magnet? I don't think it is. No. I'll probably go along there where that um, wooden pier is later. Just try it for about 10 minutes or so. Because someone might have used this for fishing. That is a part of a screwdriver. And I don't want that. I can't complain, I found a couple of good things today, some knives and, you know, two, two knives are practically the same, really. That's a place I would have liked to have gone, that bridge, but it's too shallow. A lot of nails and stuff, but so I can't grumble. Found a few little bits. I'll move up to that other bit in a minute. And these old nails. junk in here. That's a uh, ring. It's getting a little bit wet again. That feels a little bit heavy. I don't think there's nothing on here though. Just more nails.
Well, I'm going to turn this off, guys, save the battery. Memory card. I'll get back to you in a little while. Okay, I'm on uh, Hampton Court Landing Pier, number three. Uh, it's a bit deeper here. Not sure how deep. Soon find out in a minute. And I'm going to go all along this pier. And then see what the time is afterwards. About five o'clock, then I'll probably start making a move home. Let's just see. I don't think it is that deep. Oh, fucking hell, it is deep. Very deep. Very deep here. Got to be about four or five feet deep. Let's give it a go, see what we get, if anything. Probably get people fishing here as well, maybe. And so it's down there then, what it was, I don't know. Around the fucking thingy there. So it's kind of weird that it's really deep in, just over there, it's really shallow. They must have dug this out. I keep getting caught up around the thing. Post out there, which I nearly hit. Oh shit! Oh, there we go. Don't want to be snagged up. I'll just drag it along here for a minute. Rusty nails. I think it's just rocks down there, I'm hitting them. I want to give us some treasures. I've been fucking trying all afternoon. So much treasures here today. Well, uh, that's probably a boating thing to pick up with.
Nothing good yet though. Actually that um, wooden thing wasn't a wooden thing, it's like a bag. I think that might have been a rock I caught on then. There's another boring thing up there. What the fuck's this? More little junk. Oh, give me something decent. I think like years ago, horses might have come along this part. There's something there, but I think it's a rock. There's a lot of metal here, but not what I want. That's a bit of old kind of barbed wire. up with that then. Oh, I think I've got something heavy here. Definitely. That's picked up something. Oh, it did. Might have been a tree. But I picked up something heavy. I know it did. I felt the, he the heaviness. It's gone now. That definitely picked up something heavy. there but it's not picking it up now. It dragged it but won't bring it in. So 
Someone's doing fishing over here. Definitely there. Might be chain. Sink down there. But every time I pick it up, it falls off again. Still won't drag it. Got to be careful. Get on this bit. Chain. I think it might be chain. So every time I get hold of it, it falls off. I don't think there's anything that ain't here. Again, no was for shit, but nothing good. Nice two P. Lovely. So there are some coins here. Put it up there. Someone might want it. So that's Hampton Court Bridge over there. If anyone's interested, I did go to um, Richmond. I didn't get night over there. That is a dead loss. A dead, dead loss.
end up being done. It gets stronger than this, then I'm going to be I'm making tracks early. See, people getting on the, on the boats sometimes can drop coins, watches, rings, you never know, but this magnet won't pick up anything gold or silver. <coughs> oh, talking about ring, picks up a, a washer ring. That might have been better over there actually. It's not as high up, but it might be slippery. And let's just give this a quick drag. One thing I ain't pulled out yet is like a fishing chair. I'll move this over a bit. I'm going to have to keep checking the time in a minute. And I said I, want, I don't mind being here till 5 or 6 o'clock, but 6 o'clock is going to be the latest, I think. I've got to make tracks home, and that can take two hours. So I don't know what buses I can get from here, or even a train. I think I've got something heavy on there. It feels heavier. There was something heavy on there. Don't know what it was. But there's something there. Like an iron bar or something. Twice I've picked something heavy up and lost it. Oh, yeah. 
No, no, on. One piece. That one looks a really weird colour. I suppose I threw it over this one a little bit. or whatever it was. Another 2p. So there's some coins down here at least. Come on, give me something special. Something nice. I might have had two. Bowie type knives, but give me something here. Hampstead Court. Give me some kind of memorial. I hate these fucking tie up things. Easy trip over it. And end up in the drink. Because that is the second one up. Fucking all that's like eight. Yeah. Nah. Looking for coins and junk. In the day, seriously, rich people live here. Oh yeah, I know. Exactly. So every time they were launching, they would have dropped something. Well, it won't pick up gold, silver, and a million, or um, it might pick up zinc, iron, and uh, copper, possible uh, steel. Trying to really get some of the, the shit out to clean the river up, you know, it's more clean the river than anything else. I'm trying to clean the river up as well. I know it's a big river, but you know, I've imagine if they're cleaning it up, but what they're cleaning up though, do you know? Yeah. And every, every time they're 
heavy layer of silt as your favourite. Yep. See ya. See, there could be so much stuff in here. But it's under layers and layers of silt, like you said. up a fucking nice pocket watch or some kind of watch nice pattern without too much rust on that would be cool Could actually be going past a lot of stuff as well. I don't even know what's down here. I know, you know, quite a big magnet, but it could be going past a load of stuff just by inches. Too far over there, actually. Surprising, no knife and forks or spoons here. I've had about three of those. Got one of them uh, uh, earlier. down here, it's a flat quarter past five already, so um, that time I start making tracks, I could go back up there to the bridge and get a bus, hopefully to Kingston, I'm just going to walk down here a little bit more, I'll probably come back this way, sometime in, here, in the near future, um, probably in two weeks or something. It's been really crappy along this bit though. All I've been pulling out was rusty nails and a few pence. That's it. Nothing else. I can't grumble a fan like two bowie knife kind of things. Um, and that big kitchen. Which I nearly was going to give to a police officer earlier today. I thought, ah, fuck it. 